morning, Pershaw Abbey community. I hope that everybody is doing well. It's another beautiful day here in Pershaw and it's got me to thinking about the environment and our care for it. Many of you will know that for the last couple of years or so, Pershaw Abbey community has been working as an eco-church, doing our very best to tread lightly on God's creation. There are many different areas that we spend our time focusing on. We think about how we can talk about the environment in our worship and in our teaching. We think about how we can use our buildings in a more sustainable way, which is quite a challenge when they're grade one listed. <laughs> we look at our land that is our responsibility and how we can use that to create safe places for plants and flowers and wildlife and birds and insects. We think about how we can engage with our community and, and the global community promoting environmental issues. And we also look to ourselves and our own church community and beyond to see how can we look at our lifestyle? How can we make changes that means that we're treading just a little bit more lightly on the world. This coming Saturday is World Environment Day, um, another opportunity for us to stop and think about all the things that we and our community and our country and the world can do to care for God's creation. As part of World Environment Day, we're inviting people to join us in a really exciting initiative on Saturday at 10.30. Tear Fund are encouraging people to take part in prayer in the park and we thought that's something we can do. We're really blessed that our Abbey Church stands on a park. So you're very warmly invited to come and join us at 10.30 outside the west end of the Abbey, that's where the big doors are, for some prayers and reflection on World Environment Day. It's an opportunity for us all to pray for those world leaders who will be gathering for the G7 summit in Cornwall in just a week's time after World Environment Day. That they may come to decisions which make the world a better place in terms of the environment for all of us, but most particularly for those in the poorest countries of this world. It'd be lovely to see you. But wherever you are on World Environment Day, take the time to give thanks for the beauty of creation where we live. God of life, we praise you for the beauty of creation, its richness and variety. Yet through greed and ignorance, we scar your world with plastic waste and throw so much away. Make us more like Jesus, treading gently on our common home, and breathe your spirit on us, that we may care more deeply for your earth. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.